Hey, hi everyone. Welcome to another Chaos Africa meeting. Um, we're excited to have you once again in our bi-weekly meetings. I'm going to send the agenda to the chat. Please add your name and let us know how you are doing. We so, so our facilitator today was supposed to be Anita, but Anita is not um, available at the moment, so I am going to be facilitating. Would anybody like to facilitate next week? Okay. okay. I think if you want to facilitate, please do us like add your name here or let us know in the chat if you love to facilitate the next meeting. So the first thing on the agenda today is uh, newcomers. I think right now they have, don't have any newcomers on the call, although we did have a lot of people join the past two weeks, but currently we don't have any of them on the call. So maybe if um, we have like any newcomer joining would, um, would um, you know welcome them when they join. Um, so I'll go to the next thing on the agenda, which is um, the past events like we have had in the past two weeks. So we did um, a Twitter space that was um, last two weeks, I think, um, about contributing to open source after October 1st, which was the third Twitter space we did in the month of um, October. So remember, early in the month of October, we said we we're going to start running um, Twitter spaces to encourage people to contribute to October first. So that one was the last one we did. And we had like um, over 274 listeners, which is really great. Um, and it was a really interesting conversation. So if you missed it, you can, it was recorded, the spaces was recorded, so you can catch up with it here on this link. Let me increase my text. I always forget to do that. Forget that I'm using a white screen. Okay. So, um, and also we've been doing monthly, so the next thing, we're doing monthly onboarding calls and we do them every, once every month. Um, the first, the first Wednesday of every month, although the one we did yesterday, we didn't really record it, but this is the first one we did. And if you're still like, doing these calls, we probably talk about chaos, like Elizabeth and I, we probably like talk about the different parts of chaos and there are a whole lot of things you could learn, even though you've been here for quite a while. So you can check out the recording for the first one we did. Um, we, we usually talk about, like we go knee deep into like what chaos is, different projects and you know why chaos and all that stuff. So you can check out the onboarding call um, is on the YouTube channel, so you can check it out um, here. Um, so I I opened like a Chaos Africa GitHub repository. That's the next um, topic. I'm trying to open it up. My network is so bad. I don't know why. Like, okay, so this is the repository. Can everybody see it? Hi, Shibwell, welcome. Yes, I can see it. Okay, yeah, so the idea is to track the work that we are doing here at Chaos. So this repository is, um, like it holds like, for example, now we have like the folder, the different focus groups, the different things that people are doing, like, um, like currently there are still some things we need to fill in there right like the different documents so this this um for this repository will kind of like track the different work we are doing and also like track ideas because i know like every single person has like ideas that they want to that you want to see happen in chaos different things that you're thinking about on how to like engage people so this repository would be like to track our ideas. And so you can check out the repository and I'm trying to also open up issues with the different ideas I have because sometimes I just randomly sit down and a lot of things come into my head. 
So you can easily open up issues and just tag me and we'll start working on them. So you can check out the repository. Does anybody have any thoughts on how to, um, you know, arrange this better? What's what are our thoughts on how it looks for now? This meeting is really very quiet. <laughs> and I'm the only one talking. Is everyone hearing me? Um, okay. See my network. Ruth, but we can hear you now. Okay, yeah. I asked the question like if the uh, people have thoughts on like um the repository, how we can like make it. Uh, because each, like is to track the different things we are working on, like issues, how we can make it like are there any thoughts on how the rep or how the repository looks right now? I was like asking for feedback. Mm, I think people just need to think about it, then come back or get ideas from other places. Right now I don't have any idea, but if anything comes up, I'll definitely speak up. But other people too could say something if they notice, but it looks at least presentable. Okay. Thank you, Imide. Um, does anybody have any thoughts? There's something else I also want to show us as well. Yeah, um, hi, hi, Ruth. Yeah, hi. So um, you're asking like regarding the repository. So first I I, I'm not sure. Um, what what do you mean to like? Um, what's the word? Is it accomplished with the GitHub repository? Maybe that would not help us in you know, understand how to. Uh, like what and what do we want to we want people to see in the repository? Uh, is it for developers or for we community managers? I, I'm not sure because I don't really use GitHub that much. Okay, so um, the repository is mainly like this particular one is mainly to track the activity that goes on, like different things we are working on. And also it's like a place where people can see what's going on in Chaos Africa, right? For now, we don't like have a, a website. So like this is where we would, um, showcase the different things and put in a lot of information to what we are doing, right? So currently what we have here is the readme that kind of like talks about how people can what we do and you know how people can participate and then the different focus groups like a particular document on each of the focus groups so the other thing i talked about is like we can just be opening up issues like about different things say for example now we want to run a particular program or want to work on a project this is where we open up the issue for it and we track the work it's not necessarily that code code does not come in here, but it's like, um, and then I can also set up a discussion forum as well. Like that's what one thing I thought about setting up a discussion where we can like have discussions. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, I'll just I'll just write that down. Discussion. Uh, I I will I will like it. Okay. Okay, to be talking in terms of um, I'm sorry, and... Eli, I'm not I'm not getting you clearly. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I think it's better. Okay, so I think the idea of the repository is great. I like it a lot. At least um, as an Africa foot, we have we need to have a space where we can track or keep a record of every contribution or project we do in chaos. In chaos as a whole, so I think the idea that they is it's okay, it's okay. Okay, thank you, delight. Does anybody have any thoughts? Again, okay, 
So um, so the next thing I want to show is, I don't know how many people were here when I talked about that we now, we're, we're setting up like an open collective account where we can be able to receive money and, you know, run, and like for Chaos Africa, we need funds, right? There are a whole lot of things that we want to do, but so many of those things will depend on money. So we, um, I was working with Matt to open up like a collective account. So open collective is like, a foundation that helps open source projects um, receive money and you know um, publicly like be transparent about funding. So this is the um, the account at the moment we have set it up and like it's all approved. The last time I shared it, it wasn't approved at the last time, but now it's approved. So people can now sponsor or like fund our work. We have we did like different tiers of like contributions that people can make um these and this can be individuals or companies right these are majorly these three ones they will be like for companies to be able to support the work so we have like um these different tiers of contributions people can make custom contributions different things so these are like this is where many would receive money also we also have like github sponsored activated so people can sponsor the work that we are doing at care so um, yeah, that's what something I wanted to share. Um, by next week, I'm going to make it tweet out about our open collective account. And, you know, I do definitely encourage people by next week as well to also, you know, I'll share it in the channel to also retweet so we can get, because a whole lot of things we we'll do would we'll rely on funding. Like we need funds, say for example, we want to run like a meetup or an event, we need money. Um, I, the, the hope of like, the, the hope I have for Chaos Africa is really supporting people like for the work that they're doing in open source, right? And supporting like the community members. And to do that, like, I mean, I mean, financially supporting and people that are like actively contributing and to do that, we need money. So um, this is the means we are going to be receiving money. And I'm definitely open for ideas that people have like to run like campaigns to be able to get money like um, and source for funding like if you if you have like any ideas on how we can source for funding companies we can reach out to um, ways we can reach out to people how we can improve on what we already have here like different areas we have um, I'll definitely give of feedback on that Yeah, Uchi, are you trying to, uh, Dula, are you trying to say something? Not at all, but okay, I have this kind of idea, like, um, is it a great idea sending proposals to companies, like, trying to tell them maybe the projects we are handling, that is one or two, whether they can support us financially, and I don't know whether it's naive or not, it's not and then come and you know, push us, community to do that. Sorry, I didn't get your question, Delight. Okay, can you, I mean, just, just a second, let me just disconnect my earphones. Okay, maybe. Okay, can you hear me now? Ah, oh, yes, yeah, way better. Thank you. Okay. So I was like saying that, is it um okay for an open science community to send proposals to company? whenever they need um, a support in their project work, just like the ones we are doing, the project budget website, is it okay sending proposal to different companies and looking for donors that will support the work? Um, so it, it, there's a way that they, there's a way you do like it's okay right like but it's not just like we just randomly send it to different companies but we can put it out there um, you know on our socials and people can find the work we are doing and um, yeah, we can strategically also like I have, I do have like um, a list of companies that and people that I'm going to reach out to, right? That like um, would be interested in supporting open source work and supporting what we are doing at Chaos Africa. So yes, to your question, it's okay to reach out to people, and I do have a list. And if you're interested in you know facilitating that, like um, 
I do have some ideas, um, but I, I still would love people's ideas on how we can, you know, strategically, because funding, sourcing for funds is a big skill on its own, right? So I think um, if you're interested, I can, you know, have a separate meeting for that or, you know, we can throw in ideas. But yeah, yes to your question, Delight. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna make a research on it and see possible ideas that can bring up maybe by the next meeting. Um, I get something. Yeah, and I, you can also reach out to me on Slack too as well. Okay, sure. Yeah, I'll do that. Um. Okay. Hello. So... Hi, Ruth. I have a question. Yeah, sure. Listen. But the good thing is you already have a list of you know people or company that are open to sponsoring us. But then um, since we are not having like a particular event, uh, what is in it for the sponsors? Because if you are putting out a proposal, they will need to know what they stand to gain most times. For instance, if it was an event, we could give them um, some minutes to come up on stage, talk about their products or display on the banner. Like, do you have any plans on how to you know, convince those sponsors? Yeah, that's that's a really very good question. I do have a funding prospectus. I'm going to share it. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, I can hear you. Okay, somebody's trying to call me. That's right. But I'm, I'm going to share the funding prospectus now. We have a, a funding prospectus that you know details on to like if you're sponsoring us, what does it mean, or what are we using the money for? I'm trying to open it up. Just give me a minute. Okay. Yeah, so this is the funding prospectus that we have, right? It kind of like talks about what we are doing and what's the money. We are going to have separate events and for those events, we are going to also create separate projects, like separate projects for that. But, um, but, for, but for the general funding, this is the document that we are going to be using um, to, that like, these are the different things that, um, you know, what it entails, right? Like if you give us this money, let me send this to the chat. Um, hold on. And I have to quickly take a call. So I'll send this to the chat and I'll give a few minutes.
Hi, I'm so sorry. I had to pick something outside. Uh, okay. So, um, in response to your question, um, blessing, you can still see my screen, right? Yes, yes, I can. Okay, great. So, um, like I said, like we have these funding perspectives and the general funds, like, see like what the funding would be used for generally. And then we have like the, with those different tiers or the different contribution tiers, we have like what's like, say for example, a company sponsors for this amount, like what it would, what would happen, like what it would bring to them. And like they sponsor the other amounts, like something like this. Right, it's a general, it's going to be for like a general um, funding that would, even our meetups, um, you know, hackathons or things that would do, swags, all this kind of thing. So it's going to be a general one. Then for specific projects, we'll also have funding for specific projects, right? Um, and something is also coming up on like specific projects. We do have a project that's coming up that. Chaos Africa would handle and a company would sponsor that specific project. So I don't know if that answers your question. Yes, it does. Thank you. Okay. Um, does anyone have like uh, many questions, feedback or thoughts? Okay. Um, I see Damilola joined. Um, hi, Damilola. Good afternoon. Hope you are good. Yeah, I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. Okay, so I think we move like to the next um agenda item. Um. But if you have any feedback or any thoughts, you can always send a DM to me later. Um, but yeah, so we needed like updates from like different focus groups, and I think Kingsley is not here. Um, so I'll just give that updates. Um, I know they're still working on like the badging design website and they've also been working on like thumbnails for the youtube um channel like our youtube like usually there's no there's no um thumbnail for like the thumbnail design for the for the youtube so they're working on that you know like a couple of people have joined recently that kinsley is also trying to onboard um to kind of do stuff so since Kinsley is not here, I think I'll just move to the next. Um, for the community managers group, um, I know the last we had the last meeting, um, and yeah, we we talked about um something I'm going to share very soon um about like a fun Friday kind of thing to engage, because a whole lot of so the the idea for when when chaos Africa stay like the idea for it is like I wanted it to be engaging. But a whole lot of things have not been really seen that happen. So um, I think in that call, we did think about ways to kind of like engage people, um, you know, through having like Slack huddles and like Slack huddles where we talk about different things, get to know people, um, understand like the different things they're working on and different areas they're having issues um, with open source and even outside of open source. So that's what um, we, you know, had in the last meeting. Then for the developers group, uh, the badging websites, um, and Enoch is not here to, to give that updates. Um, so the badging website, I know they have started the development for it, but so much work has not been done there because Enoch has been trying to wrap up um a couple of stuff um with with the badging board and all that so, so they they have started the developments but so much work has not gone in there then for researchers group we have started analyzing the survey 
um, the survey that we put up um, some time ago about getting feedback from open source um, people that contribute to open source in Africa. So we have been analyzing the survey. Um, sorry, I wanted to take this off and also show people emails. So yeah, we have been analyzing the survey and like looking at the different responses and trying to drag keywords out of those responses and um, in turn, try to also do like a report on the survey. So that's what um, we've been working on lately. Then for technical writers, I know there have been no activity there, but I have been thinking of ways to engage that group in you know, sharing, starting up, up like a blog where we can share the work we do. And I'm going to have more details on that soon. It can either be on the chaos blog, like the chaos general blog, or we can start up something. I want to, I would have like details on how that will work, but that's something I'm thinking about um doing. So um these are like the different updates from these different groups. I don't know if anyone has any ideas um or thoughts in these groups or anything to add to what I've said. Okay, um, thank you, um, Damilola, for the comments. So the, the next agenda topic is, Damilola, are you trying to say something? I don't know, I think you muted. Okay, um, so the next agenda is the discourse. I mean, is Shiba still here? So we've been trying to, we've been trying to create like a, a discourse forum. Um, how many of us know discourse? So we've been trying to create a discourse um, forum. Um, we do have this Slack, but the issue with the Slack is that um, we are not on a paid, um, like a premium plan. So um, we, a lot of the information, like say for example, like three months, you can't go three months back. So a lot of information gets lost. So we are trying to create like a discourse where discourse and this is how discourse looks let me try to see if i can show that yeah so this is how discourse looks if you're not familiar with discourse um so it's it's like this where you can have like different kinds of discussions and it just stays there forever like different you can have different discussions and different um things so um we're trying to you know do that discourse forum and the, i think this conversation started like a long time ago like these are different categories that will be there um and i don't know if anybody is interested in participating in the work we are, we are resuming doing this i know shibel um shibel initially wanted to take on like with this so is anybody interested in building the discourse platform and you know we are going to have is interested in doing this um but this would really help us with circulating information so we don't get information lost is anybody interested in participating in this Okay, I'm rich. I would like to, but Alex, I've not done this before. So Alex Shibel will teach me, uh, guide me how to do, how to contribute on that. 
Wow, that's curious. Okay, that's great. Um, thank you. I, I also haven't tried this course before. I also want to do some research on how I know there's already like a a running instance um already for or a demo. Um sorry. Um how this course works is you have to like there's already an existing um instance of it, but you have to um modify it or customize it on github so like if you're actually familiar with how react works or how javascript works you can actually um take part in this project because it's mostly be on github if you want to customize it so is it like a it's it's more like a record thing it's not like you do it on the ui yeah it's more it's mostly code most of the implementations are mostly code, but some of them can also be done on like the discourse platform itself. That's the configurations, but like most of it is code. Okay. Okay, so um, yeah, like the, the people, so how many people like, are interested? Because the, the, the conversation for this, it happens on the global community meetings because it's like, it's not just a Chaos Africa thing. So if you're interested, like okay, may your blessing see your comments. Um, Anita, are you interested in the work as well? Yeah. Okay. Um, so okay, the so on the on Tuesday next week, the meeting, I'm I'm also going to add, I don't know if everybody's like people that I would add to you, like there's a particular channel that the conversation goes on in. So I'm going to add you to that channel. Uh, my blessing and Anita. So the the conversation would happen on on Tuesday, the normal community time. So you can follow up on the conversation there. But I wanted to bring it up in this meeting because um, in case people are like interested in joining the work or like leading the work. So I just added my blessing and Anita to that channel. Um, yeah, so we can have like a or see more of how the work, how far the work has gone next week in the global community meeting. Um, okay, um, is there okay? I think also the lights. Sorry for that. Let me add the lights to, to that channel. Okay, I've added it already. Great. So does anybody have like any feedback or question on that? Okay. Um, I think we can move ahead to the next agenda item. Okay, so um the next item is this is where I would really I would really appreciate feedback from everyone. And this like is a is a question. Um what what do you think prevents you from you know um because most of the time right when people join the channel um like i i really like it's it's a good thing to have to welcome them you know make them feel welcome like say hi to them but i i realize that i'm usually the only one that you know does that um and like what is your perspective on what can make you um be more active in the channels. That's like a question I would love to ask people like on this call, like your own perspective of what has been your experience so far and what can make you more active. Because I I really, I really want people to, I really want people to get value out of like Chaos Africa, out of the group, right? So and I and people joining as well, I want, want them to see that value and also be part of that value. So what's what is maybe the blocker or what are the things that you think we can improve on before we talk about like if this idea is makes sense.
Nobody has anything to say. So um, how about um, uh, most every, we select like one, one day in a month or in two months where we actually have like um, a community, a chaos Africa community discourse. Like um, everyone comes together to see what has been done, like a summary of what has been done, but we also hear from the community at, in that process. Yeah, like no, it, it it does make sense, but I'm trying to understand like like because um so like I think I think one thing is what 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 I've noticed is that like say for example we plan this where right? people people want to be part of it, but you don't see people show up like people don't like I want to first understand like what has been your personal perspective with the community in general and you know why like from your own point like when people come in okay do you not get notifications like i, I know I, I, when we started this call um initially we thought we we um we had me and um, some other people talked about you know adding people to the calendar invite so people get the notification right so i want to first before we talk about the plan like what is the perspective first and the issues the problems Um, Shiba, you have your hand raised. Yeah. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Um. Yeah. About first of all, about the discourse, um, projects have been very, very unstable. So I communicated that to uh, Elizabeth as well. So I think a couple of weeks ago. So that's why. Well, I think um, Justin has started conversations on that again on the channel. Okay. I think this week. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, yeah, and, it's, and it's also good you actually invited some persons to join in, in the on the project so it can move faster. And uh, concerning the question you just asked, uh, personally, I, I think sometimes people want to be handed uh, the responsibilities. That's what I think. Sometimes people mm -hmm. come in, join communities and just be there. They want people to say, help do this, help do this, help do that. And you just notice they get on to do it. And if they cannot, that's when you see the conversations will pop up. But when you know you will tell people, oh, who would want to work on this? <laughs> Sometimes it's difficult to for someone to just oh, uh, raise their hands and say, okay, yeah, I want to work on this. But sometimes when you relate with these persons and say, okay, hi, can you work on this? The person feels that responsibility to want to do that thing. And so mm -hmm. I think that's um, going to be not only on your part, but also on the um, community manager's part also. So, and that, that can only work if you, you know, if you have like this very constant, which you're also doing, having this constant communication with the community managers in the, on the channel, having them to know what needs to be done, what certain things that haven't been done and all of that. So if there is that communication, then the community managers can actually look at certain persons who are, you know, possibly could work on this task that we have and then assign them, mention them, then they can take on these responsibilities. And then you just see the conversation will just flow. That's what I think. Okay, thank you, Shibwell. Um, yeah, and um, about like, I, I think usually like in response to like handing out um, responsibilities to people, um, I think one thing that really prevents me from doing that sometimes is um, I, I might not want to impose things on people, right? But with this perspective you shared, I would also try to start doing that, like, okay, reach out to people and you know tag them in things like that so i'll also try to start doing that as well so thank you for sharing
Yeah, sorry, I wanted to say something. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, concerning that too, yeah, that, that makes sense, you know, starting to like tag some persons. And I think sometimes it's, you know, paying attention to maybe how they react at meetings or probably how they react to some other projects that they're involved in. We just bring them up to, you know, we probably want to lead a particular project. And they themselves can actually now, you know, look at the channel and look at certain persons that are probably available. And then they do the other pickings, like, like now, you tell you tag me a blessing to lead a particular project. And then ask me a blessing to find whoever is going to work on the project with her. So she takes that up as a responsibility and then probably tag some other persons. So that connection sort of, you know, creates this. Um, chain of communication and then the conversation will just <laughs> spark that way. I, I think that might work. Just say thoughts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I definitely would try that and see like um you know how far it goes to she does um is there like any yeah, I would like to speak to him. I, I agree with um all what uh Shepard has said. And I personally also think the community should be more engaging in the sense that there has to be a diverse task. Like now, so far, uh, at least to, to my knowledge, I think the only task that we've been working on has been the Virgin website, which basically entails UI, UX, and, and uh, coding. We have to be cognizant of the fact that not everybody likes doing all these things. Some people actually, even though they are developers, they actually want to do something else by the side. Um, which brings me uh, uh, to the idea of what you just said, like find something to do about the technical writing aspect and some other part. So you, you might just need to find a way of uh, making up tasks that will actually engage people. Like we, we don't want it to be like, the only point of contact we have with the members will just be every two weeks. They get they get so much bored. Like maybe the 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 they were around for the meeting this week. Nothing really happened apart from uh, the agenda. Or we have to do this. We have to do that. Then the next meeting, the same thing. Then the next meeting, they actually don't have something that they are doing. They, they don't feel engaged in a way. So we really don't want that to happen. Over time, they might not really be as consistent as. We would want them to be. So I think we need to find a way of improving that. So. Okay, yeah, that, that's um, really good for you. And um, actually, like, there are a whole lot of projects that go on in, in the Chaos like, channel, like, not just Chaos Africa, there are a whole lot of, um, and I think one struggle I've had is trying to bring people into those different things that go on in Chaos generally. So I think I sh should um, try to improve on, like, um, you know, bringing people into like cognizance of different parts of different projects that go on in chaos, right? So thank you, uh, Damilola, for sharing that. Uh, I I also took note of that. Um, I think the lights you had your hand raised, if I'm not mistaken. Um. Yeah. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. Yes. I, I wanted to say something on the time of that Slack huddle on Friday. Um, I don't know. Have you people decided on the time already beforehand? Let me not. No, this is just something. It's not a decision yet. It's just a suggestion for now. Well, not a decision. I don't know yet. for everyone yet, but that particular time on Friday. I always have a meeting, so I, I will not attend. I will not attend. So I don't know whether we can make a pool, like a vote of people yeah, to know yeah, that time. Yeah. So let me just take this off and I'll make a pool. Sorry. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, Okay, um, does anyone have like I see some um some comments about arguing with what people have said. Does any other person have like any feedback or 
another thing they want to share so it's what um she well and damilola shared Okay, um, so um, thank you. Thank you, everybody, for sharing like your thoughts. Um, I'll try to I'll try to re-strategize and try to make like these different parts we've talked about because um I, I think I think most of the time because because I have like like seeing Chaos Africa, like I have a lot of I like a lot of ideas. So sometimes these different parts um really push me up like push me off so I, I'm trying to get feedback on how to improve on that so um yeah so it's is everybody kind of like okay with this like this idea of a day to you know come together and talk about different things like and what's what cadence should we follow like the monthly, I know, I know Anita mentioned uh, monthly. What cadence do other people think we should follow do once in two weeks? Like first, are you okay with the idea? Um, and before we talk about what time and what dates, what do you think are the activities that can go on on that day? And what can we, you know, yeah, Anita, go ahead. Yeah, um, just just to go back to the previous topic, I just had a thought now. So if we're trying to like bring to light other aspects of chaos that people can like participate in, I feel like um, we should be adding topics from those um, those other uh, aspects as um, discussions here. You get just bringing it so that if there's something like some some projects for people to volunteer in those other projects we can also highlight it in our meeting minutes whenever we like meet up as well and talk not just the chaos africa project but like projects from other parts of chaos projects as well okay yeah i just noted that down too thank you just like we had to talk about the discourse so okay Okay, um the how about like what's your thoughts on like the fun Fridays or maybe another particular day? Like what can we do on that day like to, to make it interesting and what are the relatable things, topics? When should we do it? No, there's no engagement strategy. So like activities here, yeah, that's what I mean. Like what are the things we can do? Well, hi, hi Ruth. Was it be like open source related? Or it no, it's just be... it not, it must not be open source related, yeah, like just fun activities, yeah. Yeah, like to get to know people to come together to like bond yeah bond like know people help people all the kind of things mm. i think i i do have this document of activities like online activities team members could you know play together mm -hmm. probably will share between the dm later okay that would be great thank you very much And then should we do it with, uh, because the initial thing, I thought about Slack huddles because there are a whole lot of people on Slack and people would get in the If I just start a huddle on the channel, people would get notifications. So does Slack work or should we use like another platform? Okay. Mm. 
that works. Slack does. I, I think sometimes the, the few times I've had orders on Slack, it's, it usually breaks. I don't know, maybe it's network or the platform is just not stable. The feature itself is not so stable. I, I'm not really sure, but I mean, any other person can suggest something. Yeah, that's something I've, I've not like trying it with one person is better than trying it with like more than one person. You know, I've been in group one too, so that's something we can think about. Mm. Uh, I just remember something. There's a platform we use. That oh, yeah. <laughs> last three months. When, yeah. when we did the burnout session, I think so. That's a platform we use. No, you do. Are you talking about the reviewers party? That one that where we had, yes, where yes, 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 yes. yeah, it's called the big blue button, so we can use that, right? Yeah, that's okay, that's cool. Okay, so I think okay. Um, so I'll, I'll what, what I would do is I'll send a poll, um, this week about like, um, when like we can, what time. So do, should we do this monthly? That's another question I was going to ask. I think personally, monthly work because of people, a lot of people are kind of like busy with work and all that stuff. So just find just one time every month to, you know, have this interaction. Okay. Um, okay, that's fine. Um, so the other thing, I think the last agenda, we already have the R. So I think the last um, agenda is. So we have a new Twitter space coming up soon, and it's going to be about the history of open source. And I think one thing that made me think about, I've been reading like a lot of books on open source lately. And one thing that made me think about this is a whole lot of time, like if you ask people like the question about how open source, I think history is something that is really important for people to understand. And it helps people understand what is open source and how they can, even contributes better to open source. So that's why um, I talked about this topic and would have somebody, the, the speaker is, he's a principal engineer at Microsoft um, and he has been doing open source for over 20 years. So um, I think I scheduled, um, the timing for it is 17th of November. Um, it's a it's Thursday, 5 p.m. WAT time. So I would work on creating like the flyer for it. And I'll also share it in the channel when everything is all set. So is this a topic that people would be interested in? Is something that people want to know about, like the history of open source? <laughs> Okay, good. That's nice. So, um, so, um, I think we are at the hour now. So, thank you everybody for your thoughts, your feedback, and I'd really think back on all these things and you know, um, improve on on them as well. And yeah, I'll keep communicating on the channel. And please, when somebody joins, please say hi to the person. It it goes a long way to make them feel welcome. So please, I do. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you. I know you have been so please every other person should please. Yeah, thank you everybody for joining. And um I'll see you. Oh, Ruth. Ruth, I do have um, a question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, please. <laughs> All right. Okay. So I just wanted to like ask, like for for instance, so um uh, so as community managers at, at Chaos now, um, say we want to like talk about what, what, what we do here at Chaos to other people, maybe speak at events. Is that like a, um, not flyer, like a slide, you know, um, that we have that we could, you know, give to other members to probably go speak at events. So more people get to know what we do at Chaos Africa. Yes. I don't know if you get my question. Yeah, I do get, we have a slide like that. I'm going to share it with you. And I'm, I think it's pinned on one panel, um, on one of the channels. I'm going to share it with you. And I'm also try, going to put it on the chaos as well. And you can also even use our welcome to chaos slide. We also have that too. So I'll share it with you. 
Thank you for your question. How's that? Okay, that, that makes sense. All right, then. Thank you. All sure. right. Thank you, everyone, for joining. And bye. Bye, everyone.